Welcome to the pit walk here at the last scale off-road Euros. As you can see, lots of mud. But uh, the man who has tamed the mud and has taken the pole, it's young Pekka. Evening Pekka, congratulations. Thank you. Now, we've seen you at the Euros the last few years and you've done okay. Suddenly, you're on pole. What's changed? Uh, I drive winter a lot of race and 10 scale. E EOS and Finnish races. You know, your uh, your mum always watches you on the stream. She's always going, oh, Pekko, I'm so frightened. Oh, I love it. She did say she wants to send, she t she says, she sends her congratulations to you. But now you've got the rest of the day off. What are you going to do to prepare your car for the finals? I don't know. Relax and take it easy. <laughs> And obviously you start with the semi-finals. Are, are you confident when it comes to racing you'll be as fast? Because racing is different from qualifying, isn't it? Yeah. I drive easy. I take easy. And I don't try mo too much. Okay, congratulations. Thank you very much for the pole position. And I'm pretty guaranteed he's bound to get the European Junior title. But he's got some, some big men to beat. We may find those big men at some point. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of individual tents around here. There's a tent of people here. Look, they're all here. Oh, there's Stu. Now, let's have a word with you. Now, Stu didn't get on camera yesterday. He just got on voice. So we'll, we'll lean in across what you say. Try not to tread anything important. And there's a man. Oh, look. Who wants to know what the engines look like? That's one there. Um, that's a spark plug. Okay. Um, <laughs> Stu, uh, good overall qualifying in the end then, was it fifth you are? Six. Same thing. Yeah, yeah six. I'm pretty happy with that. A um, few little changes I need to do. Got a slight issue with the engine at the moment, the loose spark plug. Um, I knew it's CC spark plug. I identified the problem but brilliantly. Yeah, so that was loose. So I was losing compression. So that's why I wasn't doing the doubles very well. So I was losing quite a bit of time. But other than that, yeah, sixth. I'm happy with sixth all right now. And you're here all day for 10 minutes of running because, of course, you were uh, fast enough not to be in the lower final. So now you've got... Uh, well, about 23 hours to fix the car. That's right, yeah, just take my time now and get everything ready and, yeah, hope for the best for tomorrow. Thanks, Stuart. Anyone have a, a quick... That is... See, just get down it. This is how big they are. It's hard to... But on TV, on the screen, you can't get... That's how... But that's my hand is about... Is that the same size as a shock absorber? So they're big old breasts. Oh, there's a... It would be better to use this one here, wouldn't it? Much easier to use that one, which I didn't see. So, four-wheel drive, the MCD chassis there. Massive great thing. It's got no engine in it. it got, oh, I could pick it up. Hang on. Oh, backhand. Bloody hell. Yeah, that's quite that's quite a weight. Obviously, you know, just going to work out for a couple of hours, everyone. Just do it. Ow, my wrist hurts, but that's another story entirely. Okay, thank you, Chip. Right, that is the uh, one the uh, man who's qualified in sixth in four wheel drive. Um, we have to kind of walk quite carefully. It's quite funny. Harry, of course, can't see his feet because he has to look at me. I could walk, actually, I might walk you through a puddle deliberately and give you wet. No, okay, wait, wait. I won't give you wet socks deliberately. Um, let's. Uh, come across to the RC Fox team and see if we can grab a word with our old friend Mark Cressick. Mark, how are you? Thanks, fine. Now, Mark, you um, have made many a final in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, but you've selected to do short course because you only have to do one. Why did you choose the short course route? Uh, it was just a team decision because uh, we don't have really any yeah, very fast drivers for the short course and the MCD, so we decided to go with short course for me and the others stay on the buggy class. But even, to be honest, for me, myself, it makes more fun. So if you look on the track, it's, it's the competition is there, but they enjoy the driving also a different way. So yeah, it's lifestyle. Now, I'll just come around here, and, and Harry as well. Can you explain to me what the difference is from the short course to the normal buggy? What is, what is different on the cars? Because someone said to me on the MCD it was different arms, someone said it was different shock tower, someone said it was different this. What is the difference? Yeah. So the difference by the MCD is not so much. So it's mainly the front shock tower, the rear shock towers. We use uh, the same shocks from the front also on the rear. And the bumpers, that's it. Well, that makes it, makes it, so basically it's quite easy to, to, to use one buggy for both classes. Exactly right, yes. So spare part wise it's simple. If you have a buggy at home, you can easily convert it to short course to join another race. So simple. It's cool. And uh, we, we actually thought you hadn't bothered coming in today. We thought, well, Mark's not bothered running his last run. He's going to take the day off because you came in late for the last seat. What happened? Yeah. So in the warm up time, a car in front of me crashed. I would try to pass, but I broke the pin. 
we fix it quickly to get some more track time. That was the only reason. We thought you'd take off. That's fine. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Cheers. Um, this is the this is Team Bulgaria, uh, MCD. I'm not sure if there's a. Oh, we have a we have some we need to. Dalio, if you could. Uh, and grab a quick word, Dario Vaselli, former European, okay, reigning European champion. I apologise, you of course, the reigning European champion. Yeah, last year. Last year, I, for I forgot. And of course, you are the last person to win here five years ago. Yes. So, really? Two drive, not drive. Oh, yes. But, but, but two wheel drive was the premier class then, you see. Yeah. So, so, you have two European championships, both here and the last one. So, are you surprised to get beaten for pole by a 14 year old? Actually, no. He was a, he is a fast guy. Uh, yeah, but it's always the here is very, how to say, strange and hard to find every time, every run. The condition is changed. It was raining yesterday. It was dry. It was wet. It was half half. It's very, it's a big gamble to find the right one in the right time. We had a lot of people talking uh, on our stream about you know how different this track is from last year's track. Last year's track was a, a was a dirt track that got blown out. It was craters and everything else. This track, at least the track is the same every time round. I mean, there's difference with the grip on the water. I mean, does this, does this make it easier that the track's not deteriorating like it did last year? Okay, depend from the last year, it's completely different. The surface, the setup, everything is different. But still here, there is two kind of uh, different uh, surface. It's, uh, they say that they put two different uh, type of the carpet, Astro, and uh, in some corners it's very good, in some corners you need more grip, it's, yeah, it's it's also a big uh, advantage. When it comes, see, you 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 got uh, you lost pole to to to, to Peko, but you must feel that with your experience, you'll be better when it comes to actual racing. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very happy also with the second place. And uh, when you when you're racing for ten minutes or half hour, it's completely different. So what happened will happen. And will you need to use different tyres for the half hour race? No, actually not. It's the same tires, only we have to see if it's raining or it will be dry. That's all. Dario, thanks a lot, mate. That's your reigning champion. And will he become the re to be retained? Oh, blimey, that is very gooey just there, by the way. Okay, uh, let's go this way. Um, we'll uh, take you into the, um, uh, what can only be described as the uh, uh, selected quagmire. Oh, there's a man. He's, uh, he's 23 years ahead of us. Bit of electric charging there. The only thing I would say is that car's been on charge for three days, which isn't a particularly good uh, recommendation for electric motoring, but hey-ho. Let's uh, continue our trundling. This is what case we've seen uh, most of what we know. We're going to uh, randomly talk. I think it's random talking is going to start happening soon. Let's uh, move into the uh, the world of, of Altron and uh, everyone sitting here. Can I grab a quick word? Second second year of the uh, of the Altron. How how has it improved? How has it improved over the year? Um, I think reliability was a main issue last year. I think we we shown that the car is really reliable now. Um, but let's say first year on Astro Turf uh, for us the first week on the wet Astro Turf. So we had to start from the bottom. So basically, uh, <laughs> it wasn't really a good week for us. We learned a lot. Um, I think we've improved a lot compared to the other teams. Uh, we started off the week with one and a half second, two seconds a lap behind the MCDs. At the end of qualifying yesterday, when it was still wet, we were about half a second, so we made up some time. Um, we still have some time left to improve, so hopefully by the end of the finals we will be there. What's the what's the issue with the difference between uh, Dirt and Astro? Is it is is it why is it so different? I mean, it, 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 I, would, I would have thought really you get the tyres right and the car should work. Is it just just not doing what it was before? Um, I think it's experience we're missing. Um, on the dirt, we have lots of races in the dirt, so we know exactly when we arrive on a track and we see yeah, we get some bumps and holes. We know, yeah, improve the shocks, do this, do that, change the differentials, but now an Astro Turf, it's completely different and um, we're struggling. So we started off, I think, way too hard on the French differentials and stuff. But yeah, like I said, we're learning and, and yeah, I think if you give us another week, we will be right there. But yeah, we don't have a week, so we have to wait and see. Yeah, you don't want another week in this weather, surely. <laughs> um, if we can learn from it, maybe, but nah, I prefer to go in the dry. I think so. And just so, the, the, we talk about the Ultron, the, the key difference about the Ultron is that the engine is, is in a different location to the traditional cars. It's not further forward, you see the tanks at the back, it's got the, uh, the curved exhaust pipe, so basically it's got a, a kind of a, a cab forward feel to the engine as well, so it's different. Um, I'm sure there's millions of things that are different, but the obviously it's different to be able to look at it is that it's a, they've moved the centralization of the weight. Is that, is that, was that the key thing behind it? Um, the whole theory behind the engine turning around is it sucks the, the cold in from the front, 
blows it out on the rear. Um, we also had a body shell, a hole right next to the engine, so everything blows out. So that's basically why we did it. Uh, we didn't consider other options, um, just basically for that. All the other cars are struggling with heat, and I think we're about the only car who's running without big windows and still running without problems. So, um, yeah. So what you really need is a European Championship somewhere really, really hot. <laughs> hot and bumpy. Hot and bumpy. Well, I think I think we've got fairing next year. Is that, that can be hot there, but it can rain as well. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to fairing, um, especially with our large shocks. I think we will be the, the team to beat, um, hopefully. <laughs> now, I think we're having a big chance and at fairing, but more than here. We still got it's, anything can happen. It's finals. Anything can happen. Uh, yeah, like you've seen last year, we were 1-3-4 at the start, um, had some bad luck last year. Maybe things turn around now to our way, so yeah, who knows, hopefully. Thank you indeed, that's the, uh, the team from the, the Ultra, oh, walking the camera. Now, um, moving on down, uh, let's see what we can find. It's, uh, let's see, more MCD racing here. This is, we've got the Bulgarian team. This is, are, are you, this is the whole of the Bulgarian team? Fantastic. Um, you're, you, which, which, which member are you? Your name is? I'm Martin. Martin. So, did you all drive in a, in a van from Bulgaria to here or did you fly? No, we use a van. We have a camper. And how long did that take? 30 hours. <laughs> I, I moan about six to France. And so, is this, is this your first European Championship or did you go to France last year? No, this is my first. I, I used to drive only on-road cars, but this, this is my first championship here off-road. And how are you enjoying this marvellous British weather? <laughs> uh, I didn't enjoy it at all. It, I don't like the mud here. <laughs> and, how, and how has your race meeting been going? You've been doing well? Are you pleased with how it's gone? Mm, uh, I'm not sure, but oh, we, uh, it's good. It's good. Yes. <laughs> now, but the rest of the team, are you, are, you, are you happy with the way things are going? Uh, yes, I'm happy. No, sorry, a little, little, little speak English. <laughs> yeah, no, speak Bulgarian. Yes, yeah. <laughs> this problem. <laughs> but it's good, yeah. Good. Fantastic. That's universal. Thank you very much. And uh, we come out. This is the Swiss team. And uh, look, Bruno, Bruno, give me a word, Bruno. We've uh, a quick word with you. Um, he's just got his headphones. He speak English. We're coming over, Max. Okay. There's a Swiss team who find an English man for the... I love the way that... Basically, they all speak perfect English. They just don't want to speak it to me. <laughs> so, uh, Max, sorry, you're, you're, what's, your, what's your second name, Max? Sauer. Oh, Max Sauer. Okay. So, um, how, how's your event been going so far? Well, we're quite good, yes. It's been very nice. But the weather has been rainy, so that won't be so good. Does it, does it never rain in... Uh, in uh, Switzerland, then? <laughs> yes, it does, but not in much here. <laughs> no, that is true. So, which, which chassis is that the MCD? That's the. Sorry, 4x4. Four four. The, the simple one. It's a short chassis. Mm -hmm. Choosing not to take the long chassis because of the surface is a short, uh, short track, so I've chosen to not go with the long chassis. Now, you don't particularly like the weather. I'm I'm honest, none of us do. Um, what do you think about the track design and the fact that it's on AstroTurf? Is that something you enjoy? So yes, I do enjoy driving on the wet conditions actually because I think when it's dry, the, the tires are too grippy so it doesn't accept too much slippery. So I like being in slippery corners. So. Yeah, I, I think we've, we've seen that. The cars obviously slide and then of course eventually they grip and they roll. So. And, um, and where have you qualified? Do you, ha do you have to run again today or have you got straight into tomorrow? I think I'll be straight to tomorrow. I didn't see the results, but I'll be straight in quarter. Oh, let's pretend you are. He's straight to tomorrow. Thanks, Max. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. That's uh, <laughs> Max there from the, uh, the Swiss team. And let's see if we can find these. Uh, this is an Elcon cars. I mean, randomly find out this person can speak English. Um, and this is always oh, a two-wheel drive car. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, English. No English. Okay, well, this is a two-wheel. So, Spanish. It's a Spanish team. Hello. <laughs> um, for the four Spanish cars, can I ask you, very basically, are things going well or not so well? Not so well. Oh dear. Well, it's there. Okay, it's okay. okay. He's okay. But, but you're mostly, are you all in two-wheel drive? Are you all just two-wheel drive or are you four-wheel drive as well? Uh, cuatro por cuatro no, cuatro por dos. Cuatro por dos. So they are. 
No traction. No, there's no traction. Thank you. That's a Spanish team. There's no traction. Can't argue that point. So uh, more of the fins. Up. Ah, now we can uh, run over to the, the man. I think I've seen more this year. You probably notice it with uh, young, uh, young, young Mr. Sartell. Jerome, how are you? I'm good, you? I have seen you at so many events this year. I mean, look at us, you, you, you're in Reading, you're somewhere else, you're everywhere helping people, and, uh, and you finally get to do some racing. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm there. I like sharing, and I need the help too, because I'm still a beginner with that place. So, so I need there to teach me with the engine settings, everything. So um, this is in many pieces. Is that, is that a problem or just preparing for the finals? We are now preparing for the semi-final. Uh, I want to make sure everything is ready. So the car has been pretty good until now, but I want to check. Because we drove yesterday under the rain, and I want to make sure the bearings are fine and for the final. The, uh, the top three in the, the class, Valentin, uh, Peko and uh, Dario, are a little, bit, a little bit faster than you in qualifying. Do you think you can catch them back up again in the finals? Yeah, I, I was driving like at their speed, I mean, during the practice time, and finally it's, it seems they find something a bit better for the qualification. Personally, I try a lot of settings because, like I said, you are still learning the class, and I did some wrong choice, or, I mean, good or, or wrong sometimes, but hopefully it will help me to know a bit more the, the car uh, for the final, and I will try to use the best setup for me to fight with them. And also, I think the, the qualification is something, but 30 minutes is a different race. So hopefully, I will be able to fight with them. And how is the, the, the Lozy car, obviously, I think it was new last year. How has that developed over the years? Is it now a match for the specialist manufacturers? The, the car is pretty good, I think. Uh, it's the only plastic car. And I think, it's, for me, it's the way. Because, uh, for example, during the, the practice with the rain, my car was able to I can drive, I mean, all the, year, all the day without uh, changing any parts because we are still free from the suspension. But I'm trying also to, to work a bit on to make some development for, for the TLR in the USA. So, but I'm really happy with my speed because obviously it's my second race with that class and I'm fighting with the base guy in Europe. So they are a good driver, I'm a good driver, but they are as good as me, I think. I'm not better. So my car is able to fight with them. So that's cool. So, I, so would you ideally, would you prefer to be racing again this afternoon or would you like having the rest of the day off and not racing until tomorrow? No, I think I will stay there to prepare my car and I will have a sub couple of watch, but nothing else. Jerome, thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. Oh, and see you the probably see you next week in Sweden as well, yeah? Yeah, you see, yeah, we're always together. Thanks, Jerome. That's Jerome Sartell leading the French team. Um, no idea where we're going now. Let's find out. This is a Hornemann. This is Austrian, German. Who knows? Could be anything. It's a, let's find out down here. Uh, There's Henrik Elklint from Denmark. So let's uh, let's have a word with uh, one of the Danish drivers. Henrik, how are you? I'm fine. How has it been going? Uh, a little bit difficult. Are you, is this your machine? No. This one. Ah, yes. It's, it is. It is a bit difficult in two-wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah. It's slippery and it's dry and slippery, so we have to find out what's the best to drive. Yeah, we've watched we've watched a lot of the two-wheel drives going round, and in fairness, none of them really look particularly planted on the track. They all seem to be having a real problems. Yeah, we have a problem with, with the, the grip in the rear, so um, we always change the the rear end to find the grip and tires, and uh, we haven't found it yet. So are you, are you ch have you changed every single run to try and find something? Yeah. <laughs> so um, there's been a lot of working in here and a lot of ch tire changing. And have you got a, have you got a final tomorrow? So you have to, uh, the final this afternoon, sorry? I don't know yet. I, the first thing I'd find out is I, I probably want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. man. Thanks a lot. And uh, 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 we have another Danish driver here? Yeah, Torben. They're all together. Oh, you haven't got any front drive shafts either. That's a nightmare. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Is it, thing is, it, is, is, is it just two-wheel drive in Denmark? Is it, do you not do much four-wheel? Yeah, we do four-wheel drive in Denmark, but the two-wheel drive is bigger in Denmark, so that's, that's really fine. But the four-wheel drive is a little bit different in Denmark and other, the other countries. So Now, of course, you know, the Danish De Denmark weather isn't much better than this. And don't say it is, because I've been there. Um, <laughs> so do you have AstroTurf Astro tracks in Denmark as well? 
Yeah, our club in uh, Denmark have AstroTurf, so we normally drive it on it, but this one out here is wet every day. And the sun comes up, it didn't dry again, and you have to set the car up again, but that's normal for all. It's about to rain again. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, but we have set the car up to, to dry now, so. Best of luck, <laughs> thanks a lot, cheers then. <laughs> Let's come out into the uh, corner. I think we now may have found the uh, an English part of the whole. Uh, uh, hello there, come. It's a bit of short course running. Sorry, you're, you're, you you are, sir. I'm Kevin from the UK team. Hi, Kevin. Is that, is that your body shell? That is our that is our favourite body shell. <laughs> Thank you. We love it because you've got your spare tyres on board. That is a man who's preparing for a disaster. He's brought his spare tyres with him. Trackside repairs. <laughs> so, how are you enjoying the Euros? Uh, it's really good. Yes, yeah, my first time. Uh, this is my first uh, year racing with BRCA as well. So you've gone out, you've, you've, you've embraced the whole short course thing. I mean, this is obviously one of the one of the lows you trucks. I mean, how different is this from the uh, the truck you get in the kit? How much work do you have to do to make it into a, a racing machine? Um, well, I've got a slightly upgraded engine. Um, I've upgraded the servos, and then I've added some homemade parts. Well, homemade parts. <laughs> Point out a homemade part. Uh, dual servo saver. Okay. Uh, the servo tray itself is all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Old fashioned aluminium working. Yeah, and then a front brace and a difter engine brace. And is that based on what um, gut feel or based on what other people are saying needs to be done? And some of it is from experience. Uh, hard landing on the front. I've bent the chassis before, so. I've got a brace for that, and then um, the pinion wears if you don't put a brace between the diff and the uh, engine. And so, so but basically, it's it's pretty much bog standard. I mean, I, I mean, have you when you do you have a lot of experience of racing in the UK? Do you, do you have that experience of racing AstroTurf then? So it was a bit of an easier run on that front. Uh, no, this is my first year on Astro. Um, uh, my first year racing altogether. I've been into RCs on and off all my life so that's how it should be now this is whose, whose car is that that's, that's completely clean uh, that, looks, that looks brand new that's a spare car oh that's right well well, well if i knew it was a spare car i'd have driven it myself yeah you want to give it to me i know thanks man. Cheers, man. it's great to see you. and uh, keep up on the uh, the novelty body work that's what we need so now this is i would say you, you've got a very short straw on the flooring though this is the most quagmire it is now harry look that's the pit floor. Uh, we need to tread over that. Going to go and annoy somebody who I, uh, I know reasonably well. Thank you very much. Let's go and see how my favourite large-scale driver called Mike Humphreys is. Oh, sure? You want to be on? Sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mike, 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 Mike. Uh, first of all, I've forgotten the stickers, but I will bring them tomorrow. Um, how's it going? Um, pleasantly surprised. That either means you thought you were going to do awfully and you're doing averagely or you're doing brilliantly. No, well, I'm a bit of a realist when it comes to this. I set myself a target and hopefully I get near my target. And this time I have quarter final, quite happy with that. So you don't run again today, do you? Ah. No, that's why I can have lunch. Otherwise you have to, make, you have to balance yourself. You don't want to get the, your, your electrolytes wrong. Being an athlete, you know, yes. as you can see. Yes. Yeah, top, top athlete. So... Um, it all looks pretty. I mean, I must admit, we, we watched your car go around a few times. Um, it seemed okay. I mean, it didn't look. It didn't. Look, it wasn't lighting the place up. But with a lot of cars which are handling awfully, and yours wasn't one of them. It's manageable, is the best I can describe it. Because the, the conditions are so changeable, um, you might find a brilliant setup for the dry, and then two minutes later, it's raining. So you're back to square one, and you've just got to make the best of a bad job, really. The car's ace. The car feels brilliant. Um, yesterday when we went out, it was dry. It felt exactly how I wanted it to. And in the wet, in the last run, it was absolutely fine. And, of course, um, well, there's more rain coming. So that's the stop. But I, I take it, obviously, as a man who's done this for many years, you've been to Neem Valley many times, you've been on the AstroTurf many times. Do you think that's an advantage? Um, Actually, no, because what we would normally run here is completely different to what we are running because they've, they've done, um, replaced all the AstroTurf. They've done a brilliant job with the track. You know, I mean, all right, we've got a bit of mud here and there, but it's raining. What do you expect? 
good pits, good food. Everything's good about it. Um, and they have worked tirelessly on this track. And I, personally, I think they've done a brilliant job. And you've got your little uh, potting shed up there. It's marvellous. Yeah. Apart from the rain, but it's just no one's fault. Yeah, well, you know, put a coat on. <laughs> Already have. Yeah, I need one of them. I've managed to blag a few bits this week. I can do stickers, that's it. <laughs> um, you've got two bearings on the floor, by the way. Yes, I know. Uh, that's a preventative measure. Are they, are, they, are, they no, are they US and you don't want to pick up again? They are X bearings. Cease to be. Yes, yes. All right, so don't pick them up. All right, mate, I, I always love doing this on cars. Oh, that's yeah. stiff. That's stiff. <laughs> As the actress said to the bishop. Is, it, is, this the, is this the same one I almost broke a year ago? Yes. Um, this is actually now, it's getting on for three years old. Um, it's like Trigger's broom. It's a three-year-old car, but none of the bits are three-year-old with a possible exception of that gearbox on the front. And the transponder. And the transponder. And the 1940s transmitter. That's what you need. Oh, come here quickly, Harry. You need someone on the stream no, asks me to show you what a, a transponder looks like now. So that red thing is the transponder. One of the American guys said, who's come back, who, who, who found us on most trail on demand after 30 years away, said, what do transponders look like now? Because when he went, when he lasted, they were either bricks or it was Mavis with a piece of paper. <laughs> That's when you want. Thank you, mate. Best of luck, mate. For, well, you see, now you're unique and you're fine. <laughs> no problem at all. Um, let's meander this way. Oh, there's someone I recognise there. People turning around fast to avoid us. This is incredible. Uh, no, no, you're running away. <laughs> oh, you don't run away from me. Not that many times. Um, let's see if we can find... I think this is... Um oh, this is, the, this is time. I think it's Heidi out there. I found Heidi's over there. And I'm going to quick work with... Uh, I'm coming to go with Heidi. Let's see if I can grab a quick word with Heidi before she goes. First of all, congratulations on the paint job. Did you do it? No, it's a wrap. It's a wrap? That sounds very, that's very unfair, isn't it? Because oh, there's a lot of people who've got every single colour of the sun badly applied. That one looked quite good. Thanks. So this is, uh, how are you enjoying your short course European Championship? Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Yeah. So we've got a number of lady drivers actually in this class. I mean, how did you get into RC and large scale? Growing up with off road in all my life and started racing last year. And, and why did you choose the, the, the large scale route to go in, you know, straight in the, straight in the big end? I started with Nitro actually, a couple of years before. Yeah, most people uh, can't get the things running. <laughs> well, I never could. No, 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 you tune it up and the ferries come overnight and you untune it and you go back to it and you start over. It's just, no, large scale. So the meeting itself, are you happy with the results? I'm over the moon today. It run absolute dream. I don't touch it. <laughs> And you're out again later this afternoon, are you? Oh, that's exciting. The first person that's admitted they're out again later. Oh, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Um, oh, we're we running out of time. Holly, lovely speaking to you. Yeah. We are out of time for our pit walk. We have to go and play this back out again before the final start in 34 minutes' time. So, from beautiful Britain with the marvellous weather and everything else, I'm wearing a coat. I'm on three layers in the summer. Literally, Ephra, European champion, three layers. I had less layers when we did a winter meeting in Finland, but. See you for the finals in a few minutes.